Hello students, welcome to examination. In this lecture, we will derive Euler's law, which is said to be Newton's law for fluid. Okay, consider you have this fluid. Okay, so lots of water here and here. And in this water, you consider a small cubical portion that contains water. And we are going to use Newton's law which is force is equals to mass into acceleration on this cube of liquid okay so you see we know that this cube of liquid is experiencing pressure from all sides from this side from this side from this side from here along this side and the back side okay if we consider that the distribution of pressure is not equal then say this side this cube of water or cube of fluid is experiencing a pressure P and along this side it is experiencing a pressure P plus some extra pressure let that extra pressure be dP divided by dx into delta x okay what is delta x? Delta x is this distance from here till here. This is my delta x. Now you can easily write what is the force experienced along x direction. We know that force experienced by this cube of liquid is equal to. So what is uh, uh, pressure and force relation? Pressure into area is force. So P. What is the area uh, over here? I mean this area okay so this area is delta y delta z so pressure into area so delta y into delta z on the other side it is experiencing pressure which is equal to p plus del p divided by del x into delta x and what is the area because uh, we have force here this side right so we cannot just keep it in terms of uh, pressure we have to write in terms of force so pressure multiplied with area what is the area area is same dy dz and you need to subtract because both the pressures are acting in the opposite direction so this is the net force along x-axis so if you solve it you will find f of x is equal to minus uh, d p divided by dx okay into delta x delta y delta z so this is the pressure experienced by this cube of liquid in the x direction so this is for 1d what will happen in 3d in 3d means if i consider all the forces fx fy fz and write it in one force so net force experienced by this liquid is equal to minus now since this is rate of change of pressure with respect to space so it means we are considering pressure field so i can write in 3d as gradient of p delta x delta y delta z okay so this is part one of derivation now what we are going to do is let us understand what happens when i apply newton's equation to this cube of liquid okay so we know that force is equals to mass into acceleration what is the force experienced the net force experienced is gradient p remember this p is pressure operator so let me write it like this gradient p so let me write it here like this gradient p equals uh, and multiplied with delta x delta y delta z 
Now what is mass of this cube of fluid? Rho into volume of this cube. Now what is the volume of this small cube of fluid? It is delta x, delta y and delta z. And what is acceleration? Acceleration is dv divided by dt. Now this is the velocity with respect to the fluid cube. This is not the velocity uh, field. Okay. So this is the fluid uh, cube velocity. That is velocity held by the cube. Its own velocity. Okay. So what is the final expression? Minus gradient of P. Here this pressure is the distribution of pressure all along the fluid all, all throughout the fluid equals to rho del v by del t now i want to express this entire equation in terms of v tilde which is distribution or uh, of velocity all throughout the fluid or i can say in terms of field operator in terms of field um, v then I have to do something tricky here. So this side as you can see on the left hand side I have minus gradient of pressure P. This pressure is the field P which is a function of space. Rho is constant. Now to write this in terms of field uh, V you have this relation right. You have to use this operator V dot delta we already discussed about this operator and you have to act it on the V. So this is field and this is field variable. And if this field is changing with time then we add an extra differential uh, term which is D V tilde divided by DT. If V tilde, which is a function of uh, space, is also a function of time, then you add this extra term. And this total equation that you see here is called the Euler's equation for fluid. Because all these things that you see, all these quantities that you see are field quantities. Okay, all these quantities are functions of space or time. So this is Euler's equation for a fluid. Okay. So let me tell you something interesting. Remember that this F equals to MA here. We applied it for a single fluid cube which is this. As a result of which this rate of change of velocity was held by this cube. And later on, by using this operator, we were able to convert this V, which is the velocity of the cube, and we wrote it in terms of the V, which is the distribution of velocities all throughout the fluid, or I can say in terms of field V. So that's why you see a tilde below. So this is Euler's equation for fluid, okay, all in terms of field variables. So now question is, what is the application of this? We'll discuss it in the next lecture.